The following case is brought to you by Group 3 for the B.R. Richardson Timber Products Corporation in order to address the issues of climate, culture, and operations in the company. Kara Klein, Lila Clemens, Brooke Evans, Madeline Cunningham, and Sandy Foss have done a thorough diagnosis of the situation at the plants and bring a very important intervention for the company. During the organizational development diagnosis, it was clear that there were many issues that needed to be addressed in the BR Richardson Corporation. Of these, overall organization of the company, safety factors, the need for training in all areas for both management and employees, including communication, safety, and multiple other factors. The need for a process consultation intervention was evident in many areas. The need for a human resources department was clear. Facilities and maintenance were both in need of an overhaul, overhaul and the goal and vision alignment for the entire company was evidently missing. When diagnosing the BR Timber Products Corporation case, it became very clear that there were multiple issues at hand. However, we could only tackle and were charged with tackling the most important issue at hand. So group three traced all of the main issues, all of the important issues found in the case back to one main problem the Chief Executive Officer, Ben Richardson, and the climate, culture, and organization that was created by his leadership style. In an effort to begin with the end in mind, we determined the management and leadership style and communication that was currently in place, the need for vision and goal, the why of the company, was all related to the chief operating officer's need to drive and motivate the change and develop that vision and goal and develop a new leadership and management style. In effect, this will change the entire culture and climate of the company and create a new focus on the issues and the most important issue at hand, which was, able, which was enabling the leadership to manage and lead and make their own effective changes in the future. The evidence was overwhelming when we looked at the effective organizational development interventions and what was most effective. Begins with the most important person in the company, the person who drives the motivation and need for change. Group three found that although there were so many problems, the CEO of the company was the person who could fix them all. Bridges, 2003, found that any change was challenging, but even more so without a leader to inspire the vision of the company. The leader must embrace and understand the needed change before any initiative is even begun or it is most likely to fail. Rook and Torbert, 1998, found that the transformation of an organization is a direct result of the readiness of the CEO of the organization and correlates with the current mindset of the CEO. If a CEO's mindset stage is one of strategists, the change initiative is more likely to succeed. Only 30% of all interventions were likely to succeed if the CEO was in pre-strategist state. The leader must embrace the change. The leader will act as a navigator to guide the company toward the goal. The consensus of group three is that in order to act any of the other successful interventions, the first most successful intervention will be to develop the skills of Ben Richardson, improve his personal communications and leadership abilities, and allow him to drive the organization toward the change needed. The diagnosis was based on some overwhelming factors that seemed to be in play. 
It was obvious to the other employees that Ben has an authoritarian style of management, pretty much forcing his way using a big, big stick approach. It seems that Ben doesn't understand the employee's needs, is not in alignment with communication with his managers, and having no actual goals for the company has repeatedly become an issue for the organization. Money also seems to be a reoccurring issue, and Group 3 feels that if Ben and management line up under a vision and why for the company, then the entire company will benefit and they can begin to solve their own problems. The intervention will be individual based on workplace sensitivity training, training on Lewin's change management model, training and force field analysis, and all of this management and leadership training and development will allow for a new vision goal orientation. Allowing the company to align under this new vision, which the CEO will come up with, and all of the company will play out throughout the company, aligning under the new leadership and management techniques. The goals of the intervention will be to make Ben Richardson more aware of what others think of him, how he is perceived by the organization, and to understand what he needs to do as a leader to push the organization to the next level to begin the change. This will improve Ben's Jahari's window and the organizational culture as a whole. It will also improve the leadership from top down to create a new vision and plan to align everyone in the organization under the new vision thereby creating a new culture, new goals, and allowing the company to begin to take ownership and responsibility for solving problems in the future. All of this will be based on the information collected from the intervention, from the diagnosis, and pre-intervention steps in the form of a 360 review. The whole company will undergo a 360 review of the CEO, and then during the intervention, another 360 review will be conducted. After the pre-360 review uh, before the intervention, the evaluation will consist of observation, analysis, feedback, and correction, also feedback from the CEO. Occasionally, during interventions that are targeted on one person, it is observed that the person will potentially become defensive, resistant, and contrite. However, adjustments can be tailored toward Richardson and observation of his receptiveness and adjustments will be continuous throughout this change process. The second part of the evaluation will also look at the evaluation on effectiveness for negative evaluation feedback from the 360 review and positive evaluation feedback. Changes should begin to be seen throughout the organization as Ben takes in the new management style, creates a new goal orientation, and begins to understand how the organization perceives his management style and what he needs to do to change it. The desired outcome is the whole entire corporation should be willing and able to engage in other change initiatives and interventions to address any additional problems using effective leadership styles and techniques learned by using their improved communication skills and aligning under the new vision and goals of the company. This new management style should be relayed to all of the managers and employees, as well as the goals for the company, thereby aligning the company as a whole for the new change initiative. Group three learned that organizational development consultation can be a very involved process. 
in which there might be many different avenues that we might wander down and get lost before discovering the root of the problem. However, by using our diagnosis, our evaluations, we were able to locate the source of the problem and developed a well thought out intervention. We feel very confident that our intervention will address every issue at the BR Richardson Timber Pro Production Corporation now and in the future and will strengthen the organization to stand the test of time.